गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट अर्थवॉर्म अर्थवॉर्म इज रेडिश ब्राउन इन कलर बरोइंग टेरेस्टियल नॉन कॉर्डेट द कॉमन इंडियन अर्थवॉर्म दिज आर फेरीथेमा एंड ल्यूम्रिकस विद द कंप्लीट नेम फेरीथेमा पॉस्थोमा एंड ल्यूम्रिकस ल्यूम्रिकोइडस अर्थवॉर्म रिगार्डेड एज अ फ्रेंड ऑफ फार्मर बिकॉज इट गिवस पोरोसिटी टू सॉइल and helps in penetration of plant root as well as increases the fertility of the soil by vermicompost or vermicasting process it is used as bait in fishing earthworm body externally covered by thick cuticle the dorsal side of the earthworm is identified by the presence of mid dorsal line which is the impression of dorsal blood vessel while its ventral surface is identified by the presence of genital opening earthworm it belongs to phylum annelida because its body is segmented more than 100 segments that is 100 to 120 segments are present in its body the first segment it is called periostemum in which mouth is present and the last segment having the external most opening of uh, digestive system that is anus on the periostemum that is first segment a uh, lobular structure is present called a prostomium prostomium it is sensory in functioning in earthworm segment number 14th 15th and 16th they fuse with each other and on this fused segment uh, the glandular tissue band thick band is present which is called a clitellum due to presence of clitellum the body of earthworm is divided into three parts that is preclitellar region clitellar region and post clitellar region an earthworm body on each segment a row of s shaped locomotory structures are present these are called ct ct embedded in the epidermis of its body wall four pairs of spermatheca they are present of each one pair from segment number 6th to 9th this spermatheca it opens outside by spermatheca aperture which are present in the septum from segment 5th to 9th that is the first pair of spermatheca aperture this is present in the septum in between 5th 6th second pair 6th 7th third pair 7th 8th and fourth pair it is in between 8th and 9th at the mid ventral position of 14th segment single female genital aperture is present while in the 18th segment ventrolaterally one pair of male genital apertures are present all over the body of earthworm the external openings of excretory system that is nephridio pores are present earthworm body wall consists of four layers these are external most cuticle inner to cuticle epidermis is present which is made up of single layer of columnar epithelium inner to this uh, uh, epidermis a muscular layer is present which consists of circular as well as longitudinal muscles and the innermost coelomic epithelium is present which encircles coelom in earthworm different systems right we are going to study now from this we are taking first digestive system digestive system of earthworm it is having alimentary canal which starts with mouth and ends with anus the o or alimentary canal is divided into three parts that is fore gut mid gut hind gut fore gut it is also called stomodium mid gut also called mesenteron and hind gut it is called a proctodium fore gut it includes mouth buccal cavity pharynx esophagus and gizzard while stomach is only included in its mid gut part intestine rectum and anus these three are included in its hind gut part of intestine mouth it is present on the first segment mouth it leads into a hollow structure called a buccal cavity buccal cavity it is present from first to third segment buccal cavity it leads to tubular structure which is called esophagus esophagus is exist from fifth to seventh segment 
esophagus it leads into thick circular structure which is called gizzard gizzard it exists from 8th to 9th segment and in the gizzard grinding of food material takes place the food of earthworm this is a decaying glues with soil earthworm it eats the soil right it eats the soil with decaying glues so grinding of this food with soil it takes place in the gizzard part gizzard it leads into the stomach which exists from segment number 9th to 14th a stomach it consists of calciferous gland these calciferous glands they are neutralizes humic acid that is the secretion of calciferous gland it neutralizes humic acid of humus which present in stomach stomach it leads into intestine and intestine it start from 15th segment up to last segment intestine at uh, 26th segment position it gives small conical upwardly projected projection called intestinal cecae this intestinal cecae it gives its secretion which helps in digestion of food intestine from 26th segment up to the last 23rd or 25th segment is associated with internal median fold of dorsal wall which is called tiflosol tiflosol it increases the surface area for more and more absorption of digested food material two pairs of lymph glands are also present here with one pair in segment number 26 and one pair in segment number 27 like digestive system the another system we are going to study this is circulatory system in earthworm circulatory system in earthworm it is closed type it consists of blood vessels heart two anterior loops and blood glands the different blood vessels are present in the form of dorsal vessel ventral vessel lateral esophageal vessel commissural vessel subneural vessels and capillaries from it these vessels they supplies blood to the gut and other systems or organs or tissues of the body heart in earthworm this is total four pairs from this two pairs these are of lateral hearts and two pairs these are lateral esophageal heart from the two pairs of lateral hearts one pair of lateral heart is present in segment number 7th another pair of lateral heart in segment number 9th while from the two pairs of lateral esophageal heart the first pair of the lateral esophageal heart is present in segment number 12th and another pair in segment number 13th two anterior lobes one in each segment number 10th and 11th these are total present the blood glands are present in segment number 4th 5th and 6th these blood glands these are mean to production of blood cells and hemoglobin blood cells these are phagocytic in nature while hemoglobin in the blood of earthworm this is present in dissolved form that is it is present dissolved form in plasma of the blood like circulatory system we have to study the excretory system of earthworm as well nephridia these are structural and functional unit of its excretory system this nephridia it consists of funnel shaped structure which comes in contact with coelomic fluid in the coelom of earthworm from this funnel shaped structure a tubular region it originates which opens as nephridio pores excretory in excretory system these nephridia they meant for collection of excess fluid from coelomic fluid hence it maintains the coelomic fluid present in earthworm there are three types of nephridia in earthworm's body present that is integumentary nephridia pharyngeal nephridia and septal nephridia integumentary nephridia these are present in the body wall from segment 3rd to last segment and these nephridia they opens on the body surface fine that's why the name is given what integumentary because they exist in body wall pharyngeal nephridia are present in three pair tuft with each pair in segment number 4th 5th and 6th 
pharyngeal nephridia they opens into pharyngeal region the third type of nephridia that is septal nephridia as the name indicates septal because they are present in the septum in between the segment that is they are present in intersegmental septa from segment 15th to last segment and they opens into intestine if we'll see the respiratory system of earthworm so here respiratory system is uh, not having any special organ the exchange of gases it takes place directly right through moist body surface the nervous system of earthworm it is a ganglionate which consists of nerve ring segmental ganglia and double ventral nerve cord ganglia arranged segment wise on the ventral paired nerve cord the nerve cord in the anterior region that is at the segment 3rd and 4th bifurcates laterally encircling pharynx and join the cerebral ganglia dorsally to form nerve ring cerebral ganglia of nerve ring it acts as brain of earthworm the different sense organs found in the earthworm in the form of light and touch receptors and chemoreceptors or it is also called a test receptors these test receptor these are for detection of decaying leaves if we'll study the reproductive system of earthworm we know one point ki earthworm it is hermaphrodite or bisexual that is both male and female reproductive systems present in one and the same body and both male and female gametes are produced from same body male gamete is sperm female gamete egg both produced in the same body of earthworm hence we can say hermaphrodite or bisexual male reproductive organs included in earthworm these are testis with testicular sac seminal vesicles spermidical funnel vasa differentia accessory glands prostate glands and male genital aperture testis with testicular sac these are present in two pairs with one pair each in segment number 10th and 11th seminal vesicle this one type of gland actually the reproductive gland it is existing in segment number 11th and 12th spermidical funnel it is a funnel like structure present just below each testis which is for receiving the sperm which gets produced and released by testis each spermidical funnel it continues into tube like structure called vasa differentia which runs up to 18th segment in 18th segment vasa differentia it unites with prostatic duct and the combined duct it comes out which opens outside as male genital aperture hence in the 18th segment itself ventral laterally one pair of male genital apertures are present two pairs of accessory glands are also present here with one pair in segment number 17th and one pair in 18th ventral laterally one pair of large prostate gland is also observed over here which is present ventrolaterally from segment number 17th to 19th segment which receives vasa differentia from each side the female reproductive organs in earthworm includes four pairs of spermatheca ovaries oviduct the four pairs of spermatheca these are present ventrolaterally from segment number 6th to 9th this spermatheca these are meant for temporary storage of sperms spermatheca it opens outside by spermatheal aperture this spermatheal aperture these are present in intersegmental septum from segment number 5th to 9th one pair of ovaries present in earthworm right ventrolaterally in segment 13th below each ovary a funnel shaped structure that is ov ovarian funnel is present ovarian funnel it receives the ova which gets released from ovary this ova from ovarian funnel it reaches to oviduct oviduct mid ventrally in 14th segment unites and it opens outside by an aperture which is called female genital aperture so 
the uh, female through female genital aperture egg gets released from male genital aperture sperm gets released the mating in earthworm it is called juxtaposing position that is head to tail position it is meant for exchange of spermatophores a spermatophore this is nothing but the bunch of sperms these sperms gets temporarily stored in spermatica after mating cocoon formation takes place around clitellum which produced by clitellar glandular cells for the purpose of fertilization in the cocoon egg gets released and when this earthworm in which cocoon formation is taking place it moves backward cocoon comes in contact with spermatica and from this spermica the spermatica sperms gets released into the same cocoon in this way the earthworm it uh, brings itself outside and the cocoon separates from its body in the cocoon both egg and sperm are available so fertilization it takes place inside the cocoon that is outside the body of earthworm hence fertilization is regarded as external fertilization the development of the embryo it is indirect type which takes place in the cocoon itself in its developmental period larval stage not included that's why this development is called indirect after completing the developmental period right near about 2 to 20 baby earthworm on an average of 4 it comes out from the cocoon by breaking it so in this way the new earthworm produced and the process of reproduction completes over here through this video clip we had seen the different systems present in earthworm with its external morphology thank you thank you very much for watching this